So when we think about video games, we often think that they're trivial, juvenile, maybe a waste of time. They rot our brains, we erode our social mores, etc. However, my dissertation, which fuses rhetoric and social psychology, argues that video games can in fact teach us some very important fundamental characteristics of human nature itself. And in particular, they can teach us how we cope with perhaps our most fundamental anxiety, our mortality. So like all other animals, human beings are sort of hardwired to just want to survive and to continue existing. Uh, so on this very basic level, life is little more than just shuffling along from one meal to the next. However, because we're also simple using animals, we can think about wonderful things in the abstract, not immediately in front of us. And this ability to reason abstractly is great. Uh, however, it also means that we can envision uh, a future and inevitable death, which isn't so great. And it's actually a little bit disconcerting and potentially anxiety inducing. So how do we deal with this anxiety? Well, it turns out the fundamental way that we do this is through denying our animality, our material, physical being. I mean, we like to think that we're more significant than a pear or a penguin, that we're these beings of cosmic significance who are somehow going to go on after our physiological death. Okay. Uh, and so what, within our own species, we want to be heroes because heroes are those individuals who are revered by their peers. They stand out in the crowd. And more importantly, they can be immortalized through the media of the day. So Achilles up there in poetry or sculpture, uh, or Master Chief from Halo in a video game. Okay. Uh, and when we look at a hero, what we're really looking at is a culture's most sacred values made manifest into one form. Okay. And this way, heroes are a benchmark. They're a standard uh, for which we aspire to. And so this makes them a very powerful, persuasive device. Now, video games are especially a heroic medium because in the one sense, they give us an arena in which we can quantifiably demonstrate our self-worth and significance. We can beat the game or we can beat others. But moreover, they provide us with heroic context in which we're seemingly all-powerful. So we can save the world from terrorists or aliens or catch a winning touchdown or what have you. In all cases, we're these very important beings. Now, again, why is this important? Well, on the one hand, from a rhetorical perspective, the hero is this very per powerful persuasive device. Okay? If we can say, attain these ideals and you'll be a hero, we can motivate people to act and think in certain ways. However, this also has uh, applications for game design as well. Okay? If we can better understand what makes people tick, then we can perhaps make better and more engaging games. And perhaps most importantly for me, if we can use in-game heroes to valorize certain pro-social characteristics like empathy, compassion, and openness, then perhaps we can actually use this trivial medium to make the world a better place. So go out there, play some video games, and soothe your anxiety. Thank you.